Okay, this is um, part two because I, I just talked a little bit about the coronavirus. Make sure you check out that video. I did mention a couple of things, getting a protective mask like this for your trip. And I like the one with the little silver thing up here on top because it just gives you a little bit of more added protection. You can pinch it so it's right there on your nose. I also talked about the Clorox wipes that are very friendly to travel with. And this is a pack that I got from the dollar store. Again, I put everything in a Ziploc. That way in case it gets shifted or bumped or, you know, once you open it, it's open. So I always put things in a protective Ziploc so that it doesn't mess up your, your, your travel items while you're, see it's leaking on my bar. That's a whole nother story. But thank goodness I keep some paper towel right near me. Okay, so this one is about protecting yourself while traveling from bed bugs. Yes, I said it, bed bugs. People need to understand and educate yourself. Educate yourself so that you will know how to protect you and your family because bed bugs do not discriminate. They will follow you home because they are hitchhikers, okay? So here's something you may want to consider. Again, I put everything in Ziplocs, but see, this is my essential oils that I have wrapped up in some of my dish towels so that they won't be broken, and I pack them neatly in my suitcase, and I check it, because, you know, you can't take so many liquids on, on the plane, so just go ahead and check it, but it's worth it, because if you bring a bed bug home, it's going to be a nightmare. So, I will tell you a couple things that I do to protect myself when I'm traveling um, from bringing home a bed bug. So, first thing I, I, pack, I pack is peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is essential. I don't care if you get it from Five Below. I got this one from Walmart, and it is peppermint oil. A nice little set came, but another really good one is lavender. Lavender oil, as well as tea tree. Bed bugs hate them, okay? Peppermint, lavender, and tea tree. So, when I first get into the hotel i just lightly sprinkle some peppermint oil particularly on those carpets um and I, I go through real good and i do that but before i even get the, the oils out i make sure i stop at a local drugstore and get some 91 percent or higher alcohol now you can't travel with it because it's unsafe to have on the plane but once you get there you know how you go to a cvs and get your little snacks get your little wine you know little snacks for the room get you some 91 percent alcohol i bring my own spray bottle of course from the dollar store and I just go around and I spray. But look for signs. Look at that bed. Pull it back. Look at it. But don't think that they're just in the bed because they could be on the carpet. So never put your luggage on the carpet. Put your luggage on top of the dresser. Get that luggage rack out. Never let your luggage hit the carpet. I'll tell you something where else they could be. They might be in the drapes. So be very careful, be very cautious of what you do. So I am always thinking ahead before I even leave the house. I make sure I pack my essential oils. Another really good thing to take are, I know I had them around here somewhere. Here, here you go. Lavender dryer sheets. I pack with lavender dryer sheets. They smell so good and bed bugs hate them. So I pack some in a Ziploc like this. Remember lavender, they don't have to be the expensive kind. I wipe down the sheets with lavender dryer sheets and then I stick some of them inside the pillowcases so that my kids are safe, I'm safe, but the whole ordeal does not stop there. Be prepared when you come back to wash. I'm in the basement now. And I'm washing everything because we just got off the plane in less than an hour. But I'm sitting here in the basement and I have a load in. But everything comes into the house, it goes in plastic. So I keep some plastic bags in the garage. So when we pull up, they already know. Put that book bag in a plastic bag. Put the suitcase in a plastic bag. And I take it right in the basement. I make the kids take them clothes off and give me them clothes. We wash everything. Even if we didn't wear it, I wash it and throw it in the dryer. That way, if one of those little suckers came home, because you never know what's on the plane either. Might not just be at the hotel. Could be in the plane. Could be somebody you bump up against um, while standing waiting for your flight. Your book bag might touch their book bag. And who knows? Because most people have bad bugs and they don't know. They are like 
pests like mosquitoes. You don't see the mosquito biting you. You just know you got a bump. So bed bugs are the same way. You might have them and not even know what you don't intend to pass them along, but they are hitchhikers and they will jump on you. And some of them are microscopic. You can't even see them. And they're not telling us how to protect ourselves. But I keep alcohol. I spray them shoes down. We take our clothes off. I make them put their coats in a bin. Okay, put your coat in the bin because I'm not going to wash that coat every day. But I will put it in a bin and I will spray it down with some alcohol. So just keep that in mind. But then also you can put these oils, which are wonderful. They smell great. Smell real nice and clean. Spray them around on your carpet. I put them underneath my vacuum cleaner. So as I'm vacuuming my house, my house got a really good smell to them. But you just do not want to bring one of those home. If you do the research, they are one in every 10 people have them. So you do the math. You know, some people have them and they don't, they don't know that they have them, but they're very expensive to get rid of and they are a pest. So just do yourself a favor if you can prevent it. These are all preventative measures that you can take that are really inexpensive. This thing say Windex, but this ain't nothing but alcohol because I use this and I spray it everywhere I go. Pss, 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 pss. I'm always spraying it. My kids know it. They get tired of it. But let your coat come in my house and hit that flow. I'm spraying it and you if I have to so that we are not bringing those pests home. Now, nothing is a foolproof, but it is something to do to help yourself, particularly when you travel because you just don't know. Even the cleanest of hotels have bed bugs. Even brand new uh, establishments have bed bugs. Look around. Make sure you are vigilant about it because they're not going to tell you they just trying to make the money but you do not want to bring those suckers home to your house you want to travel and have a good time be safe take the precaution it's a pain in the butt to come home and have to wash after you've been traveling but if you are a single mom like i'm a single mom if you don't have a bar in your house you need to build you one because if you can't go to the club bring the club home to you i sit here at my bar and i wash I'm washing them clothes because they're not going upstairs in their drawers, things that they, you know, done mixed in and you may may have hit the floor or something while we were at a hotel. No, I'm washing it. I'm going to dry them and then you can put them away. So those are the tips from me. Make sure you check me out. Make sure you uh, subscribe because, again, I'm just trying to be a helping hand and save you a lot of pain and heartache because I've seen what they can do. And it is not fun. So again, if you have not checked out the video about the coronavirus and protecting you and your family, um, but this one is just really about bed bugs and helping you to uh, prevent them from coming home because I have a motto here. If you can't pay rent, you can't stay here. And that goes for bed bugs too. See you next time from Helping Hand.